I do a little chat about fear because it's definitely a feeling that I've been experiencing over the last couple of weeks ever since my bike accident which I know wasn't the biggest craziest thing in the world but I just feel like fear means something different to everyone and everyone deals with fear differently there shouldn't be a level of fear that's acceptable and a level that isn't and I think it's okay to sink so low to the point where you really feel feel like you aren't able to overcome a fear I think it's okay to go through that and I think it's important to actually go through that as long as you're able to conquer that fear and Sarah there are so I'm in a dog park I, I swear I'm in it I've chosen probably the worst place to turn my camera on getting back on my bike was scary it's still scary I mean here she is with me you know it's taking some time I'm just doing short distances, I'm doing places that I know, uh, routes that I know and I'm mainly sticking to cycling with my boyfriend <laughs> just because I don't know somehow the thought of someone being with me calms me down although if anything did happen it wouldn't matter if he was there or not actually I'd probably prefer if he wasn't there so you wouldn't have to witness anything I think in life sometimes it's good to really sink low and be afraid and have these horrible moments but I truly believe you learn from them and getting out of your comfort zone is so important for me it's probably one of the most important things in life is just to be super uncomfortable <laughs> probably like 90% of your life <laughs> because the times when I've been really uncomfortable is when I've achieved things when I started driving my car I hated it every single time I was in the car I just couldn't wait for it to be over I would have anxiety attacks I would cry I just I really hated it and now I love it and that's because I didn't stop myself from doing it I hated it but I did it and I did it and I did it and I did it until I beat all of the fears that I had for it and now I love it so much so I'm just hoping to reach this level with this little bikey bike we should actually get a name for her what are we calling this cutie let's think of a name for her she's a little bruised a little scratched dented up but you know she's doing the job she's doing what she's gonna do getting me from place A to B I guess moral of this little story is yes horrible things will happen and scary things will happen and grieve them go through them have a meltdown, hate it for a while, be afraid of it, don't touch it, but after a while, get slowly back into it because it's the only way you're gonna beat the fear is if you just push yourself to go through the fear. I know it's a horrible thing and no one wants to go through something they're afraid of, but sometimes you just kind of have to. Whenever I'm on my bike cycling, I hate every moment of it and I can't wait for it to be over, but I'm doing it because it's the only way to overcome the fear. And one day, I hope that I'm gonna make a video for you guys and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna be like, I love it, it's so much fun. I just, I wanna be on my bike all the time <laughs> but that day just isn't today yet but it will come I believe it truly truly believe it it with you guys because I'm really proud of this one. I'm usually not the best at presents and every year I struggle to think of what to buy, especially my boyfriend because I'm really bad at that. This is genius! So I really wanted to share it with you guys before Christmas hits so that if you're thinking of a present and you cannot think of one, you might like this. I saw this first in my friend's house in London when I went to visit her. She had this in her kitchen and I just thought this is perfect for my boyfriend. Especially if you are dating someone German, you might wanna stick around and see what's in this box because it could be the perfect present for someone, even maybe for yourself, if you're German especially. I keep saying that because you're gonna see why. <gasps> it's 
hot in here. Getting too excited. It is heavy. Okay, so what this basically is, it is a machine that carbonates your water. Basically, it gives you fizzy water at home. Christian only drinks sparkling water. He's German, yes, but also he just doesn't like the taste apparently of regular water, which I think is so strange, but each to their own. And whenever we forget to buy bottled water, he'll usually take tap water and he'll like squeeze a bunch of lemon in it just to give it flavor because he really doesn't like the taste. Again, very odd, but lemon's healthy, so I guess it's fine. So when I went to my friend's house, I saw this machine in her kitchen. She had a different version. This is the more updated version, but when I saw it, I was like, that's it, that, that, that's it. I mean, I think he's gonna use it because like I said, there are so many times when he's forgot to buy bottled water and he just won't be very much into the fact that he has to drink regular tap water. It must be a German thing, I don't know. So I just got this off of Amazon. Actually, they had a really good Black Friday deal, so I got the Soda Stream Duo, and it comes with two times one liter plastic bottles and two times one liter glass bottles. So it's perfect. You can have the glass at home, and then if you wanna go out or go to the gym, you can get the plastic bottle so that it doesn't break, obviously, or whatever you wanna do. It also comes with one CO2 cylinder. Now there's specific ones for the Duo that you need to buy specifically, but you can actually get it from the SodaStream website. I couldn't find it anywhere else online though, anywhere on Amazon, it just didn't exist. But I made sure to check on the actual website and see if they're easily accessible and if you can buy them easily, and you can. It's 30 euro for a 60 liter cylinder. So I got him two extra ones for an extra 50 euro because they had a promotion going. That's a lot of liters of water and I hope it's gonna last him for a while. I'm really excited about it and I'm going to film his reaction when he receives it and if he's actually gonna use it. I hope he uses it. I feel like it's a good investment if you really love drinking sparkling water. It does help not having to always carry water bottles to your home. And also, of course, it saves the use of plastic because you don't have to keep buying plastic bottles even though, yes, they recycle here in Germany. I actually really like the tap water in Berlin. The tap water in Berlin is really nice. I drank it for so long that when I went to actually buy a bottle of water, the taste was so different and I was like, for the first time in my life, I was like, tap water, tastes better. So that's saying something. I'm gonna leave a link for you guys in the description box. If you wanna check it out, uh, you can do so. They have different versions. This is the Duo, so it's a little bit more compact and just an updated newer version, but the Crystal one is the one before that. Make your choices, but it is a really good present, I think, personally. I'm really proud of this purchase, so uh, I hope he likes it. very excited about this because it's finally snowing. Um, I'm gonna bump into people. I'm so excited. First time I've seen snow this year. Are you excited? No. Uh, Christian has cold feet and he's making this world a miserable place because of his feet. It's snowing! Who else gets this excited about snow? Because I do. Sorry, not sorry. Are you excited? Come on. It's cold. Give me some excitement, come on. <laughs> 